Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and Module 4 on Drivers of Reactions. In this particular video, we're going to introduce the concept of entropy and have a look at um, just a small comparison between the two concepts of entropy and enthalpy. So this really still sits in that area of chemistry called thermodynamics or the study of heat in, or energy in chemical systems. So just again, to quickly review, when we're talking about potential energy, um, we're talking about energy that's stored and chemical potential energy is one form of potential energy. And really what we're talking about here is the internal energy an equivalence um, to particularly bond energies that exist between atoms. Now it's also the internal energy within the atom, so um, that relative to the position of uh, electrons and protons in the nucleus. But part of what we've been looking at recently is the relationship between um, that potential energy that exists in chemical substances as a result of the chemical bonds within them. Kinetic energy then is equivalent to heat energy. So we know that when we heat substances up, we increase the kinetic energy of the uh, particles. So kinetic energy is equivalent in chemical systems to heat. They're not necessarily equal the way that I've written them. Think of them more as equivalent uh, concepts. Now the thing that makes it interesting and useful for us and, and what we'll be doing in this last little section of our preliminary course or a year 11 course, sorry, I'm still using preliminary, um, is uh, to look at how thermodynamics informs spontaneity. So how do we know whether processes are going to be spontaneous or not? And are there ways that we can analyze systems uh, in order to help us to predict things like spontaneity? And one of the things that does help us to um, predict spontaneity is an increase in this concept known as entropy. So let's just spend a moment looking at the concept of entropy. Entropy, um, which has the symbol capital S, uh, is a measure of the disorder or disorganization in systems. Natural systems progress from order to disorder. And we know that in terms of the universe, that the universe is always going to become more disordered. That is that as systems change, the order in the universe becomes less. We get more randomless, more chaotic um, as uh, processes uh, are undertaken. So in every process, then the entropy of the universe increases. This is known as the second law of thermodynamics or um, you can't break even or there's no such thing as a free lunch. Something has to go somewhere and um, that something that's going somewhere is the entropy of the universe. Now, there are ways of analyzing systems that help us to get an understanding of how we might see the relationship between degrees of order and changes in systems. So here is a simple uh, physical process where we can change a solid into a liquid and into a gas. And we can do this just by the addition of thermal energy by adding heat. When we add heat, the particles start to move more quickly. And so therefore, by the time we reach the gas, the particles which were in a very uh, predictable, ordered organization in our solid have now started moving very randomly um, as a gas. The consequence of that is the if we were to talk about the entropy of each of these systems, the solid has less entropy than the liquid, the same substance in its liquid state, which would also have quite significantly less entropy um, than its uh, gaseous state. Just like enthalpy, we can't directly measure uh, Entropy, uh, entropy directly, but we can measure the change in entropy. And that's one of the things that we're going to be looking at over the next few videos. As a general um, organizational tool for you at the moment, um, this equation is quite a useful one. The uh, change in the entropy of the universe, which must always be greater than zero, is equivalent to the sum of the change in entropy in the system and the change in entropy of the surroundings. So let's very quickly just have a look at the difference between enthalpy and entropy. Enthalpy is about total heat content. It has the symbol H 
and we can't measure it directly so we measure the change in enthalpy or delta H. The SI unit of enthalpy is joule and very often we express things in kilojoules because the amount of energy is so high and mathematically the enthalpy change in a system can be equivalent to the internal energy change uh, and also um, the with the addition of the product of uh, pressure and change in volume. Now sometimes these are constant, held constant, so therefore we can and we have looked at examples where um, the P times the delta V is zero, effectively no change, and so therefore that term would cancel out and we would get the delta H equal to delta E. Ice turning into steam has a positive delta H meaning that we have to put energy into the system in order for that process to occur and hence it's an endothermic process. You can see next to this uh, column I've put the same sort of things for entropy. Uh, instead of heat content it's about disorder, it has a different symbol S rather than H but again we have to calculate the change not directly. The SI unit is joules per Kelvin so you can see that temperature is going to be very important in this particular concept and mathematically a change in internal energy divided by the temperature. Once again as ice is turned into steam the delta S value is positive because we are increasing the disorder of the particles. They have gone from being very ordered to being much more random. So we'll have a look at entropy in different systems and ways of calculating that in future videos. Thanks for watching.